Here, I've only been with Red Oak for four years now, and I, from day one, I kept hearing, you know, you guys are ever going to build that brewery. For many years, travelers on Interstate 4085, passing through eastern Guilford County, have seen the signs. Now, the sign promising a future site of a Red Oak brewery has been replaced by this 10,000 square foot facility. Red Oak is an amber lager, and the, the thing that's really special about it is it's an unfiltered beer. That means that all the vitamins and minerals are still in the beer, the yeast and the protein is still in the beer, and that's what really what gives it the really smooth flavor that it has. And being a lager, it's slow, cold aged. It takes over four weeks of fermentation at really cold temperatures, yielding that real smooth product. Beer, like winemaking, has been a part of various human cultures throughout civilization. While the flavors and styles have changed a bit, most of the processes remain the same. The brewing process itself is, is pretty much the same as it always was. It's one of the oldest uh, trades known to man. Um, there's, there's tablets uh, dating back over 5,000 years that, that show the brewing process as being a, having a formula and a, and a certain process from, from beginning to end. I mean, it wasn't just the, the Egyptians even prior to them, the, the Sumerians were, were known to have, to have brewed beer. Red Oak is not a beginner brewery. It started in 1979 in Greensboro in this former restaurant. Originally named Franklin's Off Friendly, it changed to Spring Garden Brew Pub in the 1980s. But space was limited for beer making in this old facility. It was set up as a brew pub. It was a 10 barrel system and it was, it was designed and sized for the amount of tables in the restaurant. In that case it was around 250 tables in, at the Spring, Spring Garden Bar and Grill and that's what that was sized to be. Well, in the end, when we closed down, we had over 500 other restaurants that were serving our beers. That meant that we were brewing around the clock in three shifts, uh, six days a week in order to keep up with, with the demand. Chris Buckley is the brewmaster for Red Oak Brewery. He spends his mornings monitoring each of the Red Oak brewed beers. Hummingbird, which is a lighter version of the Red Oak, it's made with a pale malt, the same, the same type of procedure. It's a, it's a lager, cold fermented, and brewed according to the 1516 law of purity, meaning that it's only got malted barley, hops, water, and yeast. There's no additives, no preservatives in the beer. Unpasteurized, it's just really a, a natural product. Battlefield Bach is a dark beer brewed at the Witsit site. This beer is 7% alcohol and uses a roasted malt that darkens the beer and gives it a chocolate coffee taste. The process has been around for years and used for many purposes. Traditionally, those beers were produced around Lent during the fasting season. It was liquid bread, sustenance during those times. And now it's, it's really brewed uh, year round. One of the advantages of this new facility is that these machines are all computerized. Since the temperatures have to be exact, the computers make the brewing process easier. Yeah, well, the computer, obviously, the, all, all the readouts that it gives really offer consistency. So every batch is going to remain at a certain temperature for X amount of time every batch. So it's very, it's very consistent. A lot of breweries, everything would be done by hand. You're looking at your watch and you're opening and closing a steam valve by hand or, or a transfer valve by hand. So there's a lot of human error that comes into it. Uh, we eliminate that just with all the controls that the computer offers. Buckley and other brewery workers take visitors through the maze of stainless steel. So we're standing in the brew house of the Red Oak Brewery where we produce three different beers, Red Oak, Hummingbird, and Battlefield. As the brew makes its way through the system, it slowly becomes beer. In the brew house, it takes about seven hours to make a batch of beer. Once that batch enters here at 46 degrees Fahrenheit, the yeast is added to that batch and the fermentation begins. Of course, the tour has a happy ending as visitors get a taste of each of the fresh brews. It's good stuff. We do plan on just being North Carolina's brewery. We have no plans, even in the future, to, to go outside state lines. We really want to stay local. And the main reason, again, is because we don't pasteurize the beer. We don't add preservatives. We don't filter the beer. It's, it's beer in its natural state. In order to try to remain North Carolina's beer, Red Oak is an expansion plan for the brewery, which should make their loyal customers excited. Everybody will be happy to hear that we do have plans on, on bottling. Um, we're not sure, it might be a year or so out from now, but it is going to be phase two of this, of this new brewery project that we're, that we're in right now.